Welcome to this video on our series on common lab tests and lab interpretations for med students. In this video, you will learn about the Comprehensive Metabolic Panel, or CMP, what it measures and key interpretations mm. to know. I guarantee you, as a medical student, you're going to see this on every rotation, but it's especially pertinent for internal medicine and emergency medicine. Let's dive right in. So, what is a CMP? A comprehensive metabolic panel is a routine blood test that measures 14 different substances in your blood. It's going to give crucial information about electrolytes, kidney function, and liver function. It's an extension of the basic metabolic panel, or BMP. Now we're just adding the liver function tests in. If you want to learn more about the BMP, check out the blog in the description below. That's going to break down 10 of the most common labs you will see as a medical student. As I mentioned before, the CMP will encompass the BMP plus other things. This is namely liver function tests or LFTs. When we think of LFTs, we have the AST or aspartate aminotransferase, ALT, alanine aminotransferase, ALP or alkaline phosphatase or ALKFOS, total protein, albumin, and bilirubin. When you're writing your notes on rounds, that's a lot of things to remember, a lot of different tables you might have to make. So list it out on a diagram just like this. And remember, a CMP is like a little math equation. It is a BMP plus your liver function test. If you ever just hear someone colloquially will say LFTs or liver function test, they usually mean the ASC and ALT, the liver enzymes, but technically it includes everything I just mentioned. So how do you choose CMP versus BMP? My rule of thumb during medical school was to ask myself, first off, do I need to assess liver function? If that's a yes, then you're gonna get a CMP. If it's a no, then a BMP is probably enough. You might want to order a CMP if they have liver disease, any history of liver problems, you're prescribing a medication that could affect the liver like antibiotics or pain relievers, any pain below the diaphragm, but above the belt, um, especially in that right upper quadrant liver and gallbladder problems, um, those are times that I want a CMP. If I have right upper quadrant pain, jaundice, or a medication that is going to harm the liver, I always go with a CMP instead of a BMP. Let's talk about interpretation. What do abnormal CMP values actually mean? For elevated AST and ALT, these liver enzymes are non-specific. I want to very much so hint that it's non-specific but it can indicate liver injury from ischemia, hepatitis, or medications. Bilirubin is what makes your skin yellow, aka jaundice. Elevated conjugated bilirubin is usually worse, as it means the liver isn't properly excreting bile. For an alkaline phosphatase, or ALP, if that's high, I start thinking of gallbladder disease, bile duct obstruction, or bone disorders. Again, a little general, because ALP is released in different parts of the body, too. And that's your breakdown of the comprehensive metabolic panel. Again, make sure to check out the description below for the blog on the basic metabolic panel so you know how to interpret all the salts and sugars that we didn't mention today. So now you know how to order a CMP, how to interpret it, and how to impress your attendings on rounds. You may hear that attending on rounds refer to this as a Chem 10. Some seasoned attendings will still use this name because it was the former lab name before it changed to CMP. You can check out the description for more guides like this that can help you on clinical rotations. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more medical education content, and drop a comment if you have any questions or suggestions on future videos. See you in the next one.